Hey guys, hey, welcome to another episode of Camera with the Calvins. I'm Leaf. Um, I'm here today to actually change a busted inner tube tire on my electric 2.0 pass through bicycle. Um, on a recent trip to New Orleans, we rode our bikes through the quarter for the French Quarter Fest and then we went, went on without a hitch pretty well. Um, when we got back to the truck to pack everything up. Um, I didn't have a bike rack, so I actually loaded the bikes into the back of back seat of the truck. And while we were riding, leaving, um, this back tire kind of blew up in the back seat. <laughs> we thought for a minute somebody threw a rock at a window and I broke a window of the truck, but it turned out to be the back tire here. So today I'm going to wind up changing this inner tube and I'm going to add an added feature so I got a couple of inner tubes from electric today um, as well as another piece I'm going to add called a tennis armor um, it's like a protective cover over the actual inner tube so I'm going to try this for the first time basically uh, it's saying that it gives it increased uh, puncture protection uh, increased grips um, at lower pressures um, it, it's basically supposed to be puncture proof um, and it's, it's a pretty tough looking little thing here so we're gonna go ahead and put it on and see how it goes so but um, if anybody's never done this before if anybody's never done this before especially on a back tire um, there is a certain way you have to take this off uh, the cable that goes to the motor here is all attached right here on the side of the bike so i'm going to have to detach these um tie straps unplug the motor itself at this point and release and take this off um take the nuts off of the tire to change it so bear with me first time doing it so come along with us and we'll see how it goes Okay, I have the cable loose. And I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. And I'm assuming it's a twist unplug or something to that effect. Oh, this plug straight on off. That's nice. Alrighty. So these little plastic covers over the top. The plastic nut cover over the top. I'm gonna leave it out here to, to hang and I'm gonna go ahead and take the tire off. So let's see which size fits. Supports socket, open inch wrench through the cable and break the actual nut. So it's finally loose and I'm able to actually take it off and move forward. So, here we go. There we go. Thank you, sir. That's on the pretty tight. I'll tell you what, 
Then we have everything in here for you to lock, lock this bad boy down. We are not playing. And this other mounting bracket that's going to go on. It's going to come off. All right, so it uh, looks like look like I'm free. Looks like. I'm Came out the disc brakes, gotta take the chain loose, and I should be ready to rock. Rock and roll. So much so. I'm already at the hard part. Oh, raise up the, the deal here and it's out. Look at that. Took a while, but I got her out. Motor and all. More locking nuts. So, I'll stick it on to the east side. If you can see it, she's ready to rock and roll. You can see it. So, here we go. Taking off a tire, changing the inner tube. I'm going to air it up and see how it goes. Oh, now I see what my problem is. So, I could change the inner tube all day, people. Leaf needs a new tire. I just saw when my tire failed right here on my rim. That's how I got my blowout. That's how I got my blowout. That's how I got my blowout. I just found it. So I have to order a tire. So while I'm here doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and change the inner tube out while I got it all put it back together, go ahead and order an actual uh, 20 by 3.0 tire for the back. Welcome back to the channel. Leave coming back to you again, from camping with the Calvins. I'm back again. Finally got the part in that I needed to finish fixing up on the bike, the e-bike. Um, so the last time we spoke, I got an inner tube from Electric. Uh, they gave me two for 60 bucks. We got a second one right here. Uh, I mistakenly paid for a tennis armor uh, protection cover for the tire, thinking I was ordering the inner tube, but I'm glad I got it anyway. It's supposed to be kind of puncture proof or what have you. So this is good to have. This is like another 40 bucks. I showed you on that, but I'll take it all off. And what I found with the root problem was actually my tire itself that actually had a split in the base of the tire. So I ordered the new tire, new electric tire that just came in for the uh, 2.0 bike that matches the actual 3.0. So it's a 20 by 3.0. Um, and they give you two tires for 80 bucks. Not a bad deal. So in this video, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take everything back off, um, add the tire back on, put it back together, and we'll go from there. So um, you saw how I took it off earlier, so I'm not gonna bore you with that process. Um, we'll pick right back up once I actually have the tire off, changing it out, and then um, we'll close out the video from there. Well, I guess the GoPro decided to go down, um, but I went ahead and got it done. Um, the new tire is on. It has a little rotation arrow on the tire that I just realized, but I lucked up and got it going in the right direction anyway, which is a good deal. Um, not too bad. It's a little tight fit on it, but I think this is a better tire than the original that came with the 2.0 bike. Uh, 2.0 bike had a tire with a thinner wall. Um, and this is where mine failed at right here. Blew out my tire. And that happened, the blowout happened inside the truck. Um, so this tire here is, it seems to be a much stronger wall on this tire. Um, it can actually inflate anywhere from 25 to 45 PSI, while the old one only did uh, 30 PSI on that one because of the wall being so thin. I'm sorry, so from the wall being so thin, it came at a 30 PSI. Um, so there, there you have it. She's done, ready to rock and roll. I have her back out 
in them RV streets real soon. So, not really a, a tutorial on how to change it, but it wasn't that hard. Um, after you kind of got around a couple of the gears here and the actual motor plug, it came off. Uh, self-explanatory type of thing and if you're ever doing this and you're not sure take pictures first of how it looks before you put it apart right so that way when you put it back together it kind of makes sense if, if that makes sense to you so so thanks a lot for coming along on this video with us we definitely appreciate you having me along so you take care and we'll see you guys next time take it easy